CNN host Don Lemon received more controversy last week after a report from Variety revealed allegations about him like sending threatening messages to a colleague from a burner phone and repeatedly exhibiting misogynistic and diva-like behavior. CNN disputed the claims in a statement that slammed the report as riddled with patently false anecdotes and being based on unsourced, unsubstantiated, 15-year-old anonymous gossip. A media industry executive who previously worked at CNN told Fox News that well before the Variety article appeared, it's been one of the biggest mysteries in TV news why CNN keeps Don Lemon around. He rates poorly. He is a source of constant embarrassment and his new morning show is an unqualified disaster. Another CNN insider told Fox News, there are plenty of people just as talented and popular with viewers that are not such a heavy lift, with another insider adding that it's no secret that he's done, quote, moronic things. Plenty of people indeed. Caitlin Collins is set to host CNN's coveted 9 p.m. slot this week in a suspected trial run. And we'll be watching to see if she gets the permanent primetime position like Lemon once had before being moved to CNN this morning. Um, Robbie, I, I tend to be of the opinion that if we're learning about all of this, it means that CNN wants us to. And that mm. there's been a sort of green light given for the good 15 year old gossip because um, they, they're sort of ready to move on. What, what do you think? That's uh, you know more about it than I do. I guess that could be the case. Uh, it could also just be like so apparent to everyone that uh, he again, it's alleged, but that he mistreats the staff, that he yells at people, um, that he doesn't have that he doesn't get along with his co-hosts. I mean, good for Caitlin Collins. I'm sure she wants the coveted 9 p.m. slot because it's a because it is coveted, obviously, and B because it, that would move her out of this morning show that she shares with uh, with Don Lemon, where he doesn't even respect the journalism she is doing. Remember when she interviewed James Comer about the weaponization of the federal government, and then and then Don Lemon came in to to say that you know why are we even doing this? Why are we bothering to interview Republicans? He has contempt for the very process of journalism that some people at the network are trying to engage in in order to bring in more people, you know, bring CNN CNN back more to what it used to be. And he stands squarely in the way of that goal. And you know, obviously, says things like you know the the pasture prime remark, that kind of stuff. So it it wouldn't be surprising to me if if someone in management has finally figured out that uh, showing him the door would be a good move. But uh, I've thought that was going to happen before, and it never has. So so maybe they maybe yeah. they know something I don't know. <laughs> Um, Caitlin Collins is extremely professional and she is exactly the tone that I think CNN is striving to return to. She's very, very moderate um, and and composed and controlled in the way that she engages with very, very difficult topics. Um, she's an incredibly impressive journalist. Um, I will say I was very impressed last week um, with how CNN handled the uh, the Trump indictment. There, you wouldn't have expected it, but there was a lot of skepticism around, um, you know, what was mm -hmm. revealed on that front. And, and again, one remembered like the old CNN where people sort of had moderate views and were able to express them and discuss them. Um, I, I, I agree with you that that morning show is, is, is a disaster. Uh, I watch it a lot, um, you know, trying to get a sense of where the news channels are headed every day and, you know, what they're what they're going to cover. And. The, it is very awkward and difficult, uh, difficult to watch. So, you know, it, it, it does. It is interesting, you know, and, and interesting to see CNN try to find its footing again. I, I, I remain of the opinion that, you know, I don't want CNN to fail. You know, we, mm -hmm. what we want is, you know, a, a, an ecosystem full of very good media outlets competing for the viewers uh, um, uh, across this country. And so, you know, seeing them try out different things, you know, I, I will be very excited to watch um, Caitlin Collins 9 p.m. show. Yeah, I will too. And and so, you know, some sense of balance. I have the sense that uh, things have gotten a little bit, um, uh, you know, more more balanced. They're they're trying some things. Obviously, they've been trying to uh, this whole Bill Maher thing. What do you make of that so far? That you know, including him in uh, so, some uh, some material from his show is now is now airing on CNN right. after it airs. And you know, Jake Tapper did that very long interview with him. And I'm a big fan of Bill Maher and his perspective. I don't know that it's quite the right fit. It's because it's weird because he's primarily still on HBO. What do you think they're doing with that? 
Right. Um, so, well, so uh, first of all, the tragedy is that even as they're sort of trying to move back to the center, they're still hemorrhaging viewers. So their viewership is now down way below even MSNBC, certainly below Fox. So there, it's not helping, right? Once they lost the trust, people went to, I guess, Fox or or, CN or MSNBC and, and they're not coming back. So um, they're going to need a real shakeup there. Uh, in terms of the Bill Maher thing, the overtime segment that is now airing on CNN, I mean, I've never seen it live on CNN because I, I think it's Friday night. Which is, which is Shabbat, but the, I, I believe it's the 11-minute overtime segment that you can get for free without commercials on YouTube. So it's never really made sense to me. I don't, I don't know if that because I haven't watched it live. But my sense is it's exactly that YouTube segment mm -hmm. broken up with you know five-minute commercial breaks over the course of a half hour. So it's not surprising to me that nobody's watching it. It did not get the viewership that they were hoping. Um, you know, I do think Bill Maher is an interest politically an interesting person for them to be thinking about. I mean, but but it would be to bring back the whole show or bring back politically incorrect or you know purloin real time. Um, just just getting the overtime to give them a taste of something they can get on YouTube doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. All right, we'll have more rising right after this.